I didn't want you to see my gray roots. Look, oh my goodness. And then I show them to you. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, I created a Facebook page. And what I'd like to do is um, pick out um, some items. If it be like a sign, um, pumpkins, a little wooden truck, whatever it may be. Whatever y'all want to do. And then, um, me do a live. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to do it. I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to make a mess because I have no clue what I'm doing. Well, so... Anyway, um, and then I want y'all to craft with me, and then you all go over to my Facebook page and put your, uh, DIYs, what you all create, so I'm really excited to do that, um, and I got two pretty presents from two subscribers, please email me y'all and let me know if I could use your names and show you what you got me, because I don't want to do anything that anybody... You know, I don't want to put anybody on display that I want to be. I choose to put myself on display and look what a mess that is. I mean, I got a Dollar Tree hat on, a Pizza Hut shirt on. And then I'm like, I got to hide myself and then I'll show y'all what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm really excited about the Facebook thing. Y'all can check out my community page and see um, the link. I put, posted a link there. And if y'all are having problems with the link, because some people are, um, if you send me your information i will send you an invite so anyway you guys um i'm excited and i put my babies at the end of the video i hope y'all enjoy i love you guys from the bottom of my heart these are really easy diys um and cheap i mean oh, i'm not cheap i hate to use the word cheap but you know, they're cheap anyway so um i love you guys and i hope you enjoy the video if you like it please give me a big thumbs up Please subscribe and um, share. Share. You never know. Somebody out there may like me. But anyway, i um, got one thing left to say. Let's get on with the video. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got this um, 11 by 17 inch uh, canvas from the Family Dollar, y'all. The Family Dollar. For one dollar. I got five of them. I got the last five they had. I know. Can you believe it? So, I'm going to just remove the staples and take the canvas off and then save that for something else later or end up done away. Who knows? So, I'm going to take Truffle Chalk Paint by Waverly. And this is more of a rustic um, DIY, but it's beautiful. And it's so, I mean, y'all, it costs $2. No, no joke, $2. Well, okay. And then I'm going to take Elephant chalk paint and the reason i'm doing that is because in this placemat that i'm going to use um it's got a gray tint to it so i kind of want to distress it and y'all don't have to distress some people don't like it some people do sometimes i do sometimes i don't sometimes it feels like a nut almond joy has nuts mounds don't you know you know the story so anyway there's my placemat isn't that gorgeous i think it says family gathers here one dollar y'all one dollar and you can take hot glue and glue it on. Um, ooh, that was blurry. I don't know what happened there. Um, but I'm going to take my electric stapler. Um, my daughter got me that last year for my birthday. Um, or Christmas, I don't remember. Off Amazon. I can find it and link it in the description box below if you like. And I'm just going to pull it and staple it down. They're not that expensive. They're like 20 bucks, y'all. And they also shoot brad nails. Anyway... But I'm not telling you because I'm like, oh, go buy it because I'm an Amazon affiliate. I'm just telling you because if you're interested. Um, anyway, so I'm going to staple it all around. And y'all always know I use entirely too many staples. And I don't know why I just go staple crazy. So I'm going to take my rotary cutter. I remember the name this time. And I'm just going to cut off the existing part of the mat. I mean, it almost fit perfect. Okay, so I got that burlap ribbon from Walmart. <clears throat> And, um, I'm just going to make a real simple bow. Real simple. You just fold it over, and it was already folded for you, pretty much. And I fold it over one piece, fold it over the other. See, look how simple. Going to put those together. And take a zip tie. And, ba bam That's done. And it's really cute, and it's really easy. Because I know some of y'all's like, I like your bows, but I can't figure out how to do it. And I'm like, hmm, let me try something easier here. 
and that's what I did, and that's really easy. I put my babies at the end of the video for all y'all want to see. Um, Dabby, or Abby, I call her Dabby, that's her nickname. She's not in it very much, but she needed a break, y'all. <laughs> she needed a break from Jesse. Um, anyway, and I'm just going to take hot glue and pack that right down there. And look at my fat belly on the table. Y'all probably wouldn't even look at it had I not pointed it out. Man, I need to suck it in or not push the heart against it. Anyway, and I got that pick here from Dollar Tree, and that's pretty. And because my little uh, placemat had uh, cotton bowls, B-O-L-L-S, that is, in it, I um, decided to add that, and I got some pine cones and cattails. And I'm just going to use a couple of the leaves and just put a little bit of glue on it, slide it behind it there which you'll see in a minute. I have a lot of bloopers in this video, y'all, but just roll with it. And I call them bloopers, but it's just my mistakes. I mean, and y'all see, I forgot to glue those in. And anyway, oh, y'all, I'm telling you. And I got some of that wire jute. I like never found that. Finally found it. Got so excited. Bought like five of them. Anyway, if you take it and just twist it, like make a little ball on the end of it. I'm trying to show you there, but I don't do a very good job of it. Um... Then you'll have like, when you glue it down and you put your tape on it, it won't slide under the tape and it kind of holds it on there better. You know what I mean? Your masking tape. Well, that's what I use. Y'all don't have to. I'm just telling you. Because that placemat is really slicky on the back. Um, I guess you could take that canvas and cover up the placemat. That might be okay. I mean, not that might be okay, but that's probably, that would stop it from being slicky and you can put a hanger easier. Or you could take a wire tooth hanger, saw tooth hanger, and pound it in your wood. I never thought about that. Anyway, well, I didn't do it, so that's what I did. I just balled up my little wire jute on the end, put some tape there, made me a hanger, and ba bam there you go. And then my pine cones fell off. I'm like, er, der, glue them on there, Kathy Joe. Get her done. I don't know why I say the things I do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. And it's so simple and easy. And look. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Very rustic. Very farmhouse. Y'all could use that year round. Just switch out the florals on it. Ain't it pretty? Oh, ain't that pretty. <laughs> okay, y'all. I got those two jars. I've had those for over a year. Maybe some of y'all still got them sitting around thinking, what in the world am I going to do with these? Well, here you go. Here's something to do with them. With them. I'm going to take um, just alcohol wipes. Y'all use Windex or just regular alcohol, paper towel or something like that. And just clean them off real good. And I'm going to take hazelnut chalk paint. And a chippy brush, and I'm going to paint like up and down and side to side, up and down, side to side to get in the coats. Now, it pretty much covered one coat, but there were just a few spots missing, so I just touched it up. It didn't even require full two coats. Just up and down and side to side. <laughs> anyway, and I'm going to take truffle chalk paint by Waverly. I don't know why I'm talking so loud. I feel like I'm screaming. And do the same thing with that jar. And I'm going to take antique wax and put it on the hazelnut one. Well, I started going up and down. I'm like, this ain't working very well. So then I start swirling it in circles. And I take a dry paper towel and wipe, like, most of it off. But then, like, if it stuck around too much on it, I just took a, a wet wipe and wiped off where I didn't want it to be. Does that make sense? I wanted it more so in the cracks instead of on the glass. And I'm going to take the white Waverly Wax and put it on the truffle one. And do the same thing. Because this, like, really shows up. And, um, you guys can't tell, but my little brush is swirling around and around in circles real quick. And see, I wipe it off with the, the paper towel. And then I go with the wet wipe to get more bulk of it off. Oh, I hope this is making sense. I mean, if, <clears throat> if y'all like it that way, that's fine. I mean, do it your way. Y'all do you. You do you, boo. But anyway, this is the way I wanted it. Mainly mainly in the cracks. <laughs> anyway. I know my descriptions aren't very well, but Lord, I hope you can see what I'm doing and I do. And I try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's where me. Where me? 
where I got the lace ribbon and you all know who you are. Yeah, please let me know if I can use your name because I'd like to give y'all a shout out. I painted leaves. I got those from Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye Playground last year. And anyway, here I'm going to make a little floofy bow. I don't know what you call it. A, a fluffy, poofy bow. So I just wrapped it around three times. I folded it in half three times. And I cut off an extra piece for tails. Cut a little slit there. Cut a little slit there. I mean, you got to cut it enough to make a difference. And then take a chenille stem or a pipe cleaner. And twist it around real tight there. <laughs> and, um... Clip off the excess pop cleaner, Chanel stem pop cleaner. Then floof out your bow. Floofy doof. Shoot, shoot, bad doof. Anyway, and I took that spare piece and I cut off where the holes were. And you know how that lace ribbon is and it's got more holy on one side and not so holy on the other. And you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to wrap that around my Chanel stem and glue that down to cover up my pop cleaner. And I'm going to... I know I'm kind of out of frame here. I was in frame. Oh, and I actually wrapped a piece of that lace ribbon around the lip of the vases, but you can't see because I'm out of frame because I'm not a very good video videographer. There you go. That's a word. That's a word, you guys. I didn't make it up. Anyway, I made bows for both of my little jars, and uh, I just wanted to showcase these beautiful Dollar Tree florals. Look, I even left tags on some. I'm sorry. And I just paired it with a little um, gold tray from the Dollar Tree. You know those on gold tray. Set my little vases down in there and filled it full of beautiful stuff, flowers from the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, I fixed my bow there. Those are gorgeous, aren't they? They are. Look, I'm adjusting my filming as I'm going. Look how pretty. You know, when I was doing this video, I'm like, oh man. And then when it was done, I was like, everything's so pretty because I love I love summer. Okay, right here, y'all. I took three tumbling tire blocks and glued them together. I did it in sets of four. You need 48 for the base. 48 tower tumbling blocks. I want to get rid of these brown ones. I hardly ever use them. And I glued them like with wood glue. Y'all look at this wood glue. I'm making a mess. I shouldn't be allowed to use wood glue. There shouldn't be a law of Kathy against wood glue or wood glue against Kathy. Anyway, um, with the Dollar Tree wood glue, I have more control squeezing it out. When I use this uh, Gorilla one, which I love Gorilla glue, I make an absolute mess. Anyway, I glue them all together in lines of four. There's 12 blocks per line. But it's three going one way, three going the other. I'm just putting some pressure on it to hold it square. Okay. Y'all, I got those things from Dollar General. I used three of them a couple videos ago to make my little cow pig chicken sign. And this one was a lamb. The cow pig chicken I got this year. The lamb pig cow. I don't know. I got year before last. But I'm only using one of them from year before last. I'm so sorry. It's got chicken wire on it. And I'm just going to remove all the hardware from it. Um, a piece of advice. If you all have these spare. Because I'm like, what am I going to do with these things? Some way. Because I have chicken wire. Oh, Jesse turned my lights off on me. Sorry. Anyway. And I just painted them on. I had to end up painting the chicken wire. Because... I'm just messy. I couldn't paint that well. But anyway, that paper that covers up the chicken wire to keep you from poking yourself, I'd remove that if I was y'all, if y'all decide to make this. And I'm going to take my base, and I'm going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint, and that's the same color I'm painting the little frame things. Jesse, turn my lights off again, y'all. <laughs> oh, she's awful. Sorry. Anyway, mm, see, that's blooper number three. I don't know if it gets any better. I did drop that something on my toe later, and it hurt so bad. Anyway, so I'm going to take eight more tumbling tower blocks. So you got the 48 plus eight, which is, I don't know, I'm bad at math. 48 for 9, 50 for 1, 52 for 3, for 4, for 5, 56, 56 tumbling tower blocks. I was going to give it legs, but then it ended up looking like a boxing ring, and I was like, I know, I'm not doing this. So, I removed the legs. <laughs> Y'all can give it legs if you want, but it won't make much sense because I turn it into a basket. Anyway, and I take hot glue, and I glue my little frames all around, and the tumbling tower blocks are for extra support and have something to glue it to. 
Oh, shoot. I got to take time and breathe. I'm out of breath. Anyway, sorry. I knew y'all wanted to see that. Just gluing it all around. Well, if I didn't show you, you may have only glued the two sides that I showed and not all four of them. <laughs> I'm one of those people. You better be specific or I will jack some stuff up. I'm a train wreck. Ask my mama. I know she's a watching. Anyway, and I added the more tumbling tower blocks, which still equals the 50 odd number. Remember the 48 plus 8. I don't remember already. <laughs> and I just take my little stapler and I throw some staples in it to make it sturdier. It's because I left that paper covering that chicken wire on it. Ugh. And then I switched to little brads and I shot brads all in, brad nails all in it. Y'all can just take regular little hammer nails. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can. And I'm going to take that gingham ribbon. Ribbon. I got ribbon. I got from the Dollar Tree and wrap it all around the little top. I'm sorry about my dogs, y'all. I can't escape them. If I go to another room, they cry. Anyway, um, then they bark real loud. I'm going to wrap it all around the top. I know, I just go off on tangents. It's my ADHD. I really can't help it. I know some people can't stand me doing that, but I, I can't help it. Ask my mama. She'll tell you. I know she's watching. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just going to glue it all the way around the top and the bottom. And you're welcome again. I thought, well, may as well show it all. I really didn't. I'm really that bad of an editor. Yeah. A straight up. No lie. Are you all excited about crafting together? I'm so excited. I really, really am. And I took a pumpkin from last year. I, ain't, I, I haven't found any this year. That one's from last year. And I wrote... I don't know. I don't remember what I wrote. Farm Fresh Pumpkins. Pick your own. Ten cents a pound. And I'm going to take... That's what I wrote. And I'm going to take um, nautical rope and just measure them out the same length and hot glue them in there and make little handles for my little country fried. Country fried, not fried. Country fried chicken wire pumpkin holder basket. I think this thing's adorable, y'all. And my mama has all the black and white stuff, so she can use that in her fall decor. Isn't that cute? Oh, I'm going to show it. Oh, look, isn't that cute? Oh, it's that pretty. I think it's adorable. I really do. I wouldn't lie to you about it. If it was terrible, I'd be like, oh, that's terrible. And there I just filled it full of little gourds and pumpkins and hay bales. Those little mini hay bales and some leaves and... I don't know what I'm doing gyrating there and adjusting my candles. Yeah, I'm terrible. Anyway, I think it's pretty. And I think with all that black and white and all that color in it, I think it looks so good together. And I don't know why. I just do. Okay. Right here. Now, those was from last year, y'all. Again, I haven't found anything from this year. But, um, that was one of the brown felt pumpkins. I wish those, uh, big orange carvable pumpkins had more the style frame like the little medium-sized pumpkins there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because those little ones look more real. Anyway, I gave both of them two coats of Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. It takes a hot minute for them to dry. Oh, no. No, you can't play with the pig right now. Anyway, I'm so sorry, y'all. Nope. Um, oh, because that orange will show through. Anyway, if you use your heat gun, it'll blow them up. Be careful. Anyway, and I got those little red stickers. I didn't. I couldn't find the other color, but I've had those since last year, Christmas time, too. And I thought I was going to put them. Now, this I saw at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I was going to make, like, the concrete looking. It kind of looked concrete looking punk. <laughs> pumpkin stop it from Hobby Lobby and it had little beads like that on it and um ours are just sticker bead dots from the Dollar Tree and uh not near as expensive look at that anyway and I'm gonna put it on the small one and the big one all the way around and the one the medium size one the small one whatever it fit perfect perfect y'all but on the big one you're gonna have to like put your 
bead stickers is what they're called stickers down and then cut little pieces to go with it but th they already are self-adhesive so it's cool anyway so i painted that one in elephant chalk paint and um then i realized y'all i don't know why i left it in there but it was entirely too dark for what i was going for and i also forgot to mix my baking soda with it that color y'all misty pink that's that new hello hobby chalk paint from walmart um i hadn't tried it. it's the first time i tried it. now i haven't used it on big project but the two little projects i use it it's really thick and it has a funny smell but these colors are gorgeous isn't that gorgeous that's kind of like for um cottage core that color um but it's gorgeous i might use it in my fall decor this year i don't know that is such a pretty i'm gonna go get a big bottle of it i got the little ones just to try it but and then i took sorry one of them sticks from the dollar tree and stumps that they sold in the bag and i've had those since last year y'all too and then the stem that i pulled out of the smaller pumpkin i put in the big pumpkin and then i start putting wax on it and then i'm like i don't i don't like this and i don't know why i left it in the video but i did i guess oh that's why look what i did i knocked over my wax i spilled it everywhere anyway because i'm clumsy so i'm gonna take i'm sorry she's ringing the bell to go out um that wax and cover my y'all i am so sorry cover my my beads up my stickers real well and do the same thing i did with the jars i'm putting it heavier in the cracks and then wiping off where i think it's too heavy. these turn out beautiful beautiful i'm in love with them. i'm sorry i'm absolutely in love with them and i take those um pip berries and i cut two pieces off and i got those last year too y'all sorry i'm so sorry but it should come out again this year and um i take two pieces and i wrap it around my lighter because that was the closest thing to me um <laughs> That's my fuzz burning lighter. And I glue two pieces in there. And then I take my beautiful lace ribbon, y'all. And I make a little shoestring bow. I'm sorry. I like bows. I like making bows. <clears throat> and a little bit of raffia. And I glue. I tied the raffia on my stem. And just um cut it out. And like thinned it out. And ripped it apart to make it thinner. Because you can do that. And then... <laughs> Obviously, because I did it right, duh, I'm goofy. And glue my little uh, bow on it. And I kind of like that crazy, like, see that how it's poking out everywhere? Look, y'all don't have to do that, but that's just me. That's just how I roll. I don't always do everything like other people. <laughs> Obviously, you guys watch my channel. <laughs> All right, now I got the baking soda. I didn't put it on the little pumpkin. That paint is thick. Um, and I'm going to take my elephant chalk paint. And, y'all, I didn't measure. I just uh, did it until I liked how thick it was. But a lot of people use a one-to-one -one ratio. One tablespoon to one tablespoon. Or two tablespoons to two tablespoons. You know what I'm saying. All right. See, that's much lighter. Um, and now it's going to resemble the um, Hobby Lobby pumpkin a bit more and there there jesse turned my lights off again after i painted it on um i take my brush and start stippling like moving up look at that texture y'all you see that i can't find the concrete pumpkin at the dollar tree i can't find anything at the dollar tree y'all um it's just that's just how it is <laughs> anyway anyway and i'm taking baking soda again and this color is called vintage blue it is gorgeous y'all i gorgeous i love this color. i like blue real well anyway but this is beautiful y'all might not agree but look how thick that paint is and i take one of them little owls from dollar tree i painted it white just kind of i don't know why i did it because my blue is so dark i didn't need to have to do need to have to do that <laughs> anyway so i paint my little owl and now I'm taking wax and um, now going into cracks on my bigger pumpkin. I'm sorry, y'all. I just really, if y'all want to do it, I want to make sure I show everything. I don't want to leave stuff out and then y'all be like, well, what'd she do here then? But anyway, I'm just taking, putting it in the cracks real well. Real well. I can't say that together. And um, wiping it down with a paper towel. 
Look at the texture on my little owl. And then where I got it too much, I did use the wet wipe. But look how beautiful that color blue is. That pink, that, oh my gosh, just all of it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I might just use those three colors, y'all. Maybe throw an orange and a yellow in there. A yellow, go, go. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, but I just think those are beautiful. Oh, and I made a little stem out of that handle off that one picture frame that had that uh, pig on it. Here's everything, y'all. I think. What I did? Oh, no. Okay, now here's everything. I don't know what I did. And I end up stopping recording. I hope y'all enjoy the video. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Um, I guess I enjoy doing this so much, y'all. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all more than you can imagine. Um, I can't wait to try to start DIYing together. And um, y'all have a safe and blessed weekend big hugs y'all okay look at this goofball y'all every time we get a flag like we had to call people out to to be able to dig and they put flags in the yard she tore them all up <laughs> thank goodness they dug before she got them out of the ground and that one's the guy that takes care of the company that takes care of our um yard which it don't look like it now but we tore the deck out and it looks like a mess but anyway she loves playing with those flags i gotta make something a diy fashion something that goes boing boing in the yard for her to play with hmm look at her I feel bad because Dabby isn't Abby Lynn. Call her Dabby. Dabby isn't in this video much because, um, now that's fast speed. I wanted to show y'all. This is fast speed. <laughs> her fighting that flag. I put it back in the ground. And then I'm going to show you, that's only 2%. Two, two and then I'm going to show you regular. It's going from fast to regular. And you can't tell much difference. <laughs> anyway. Here's regular speed. <laughs> Ew, look. Ew. I'm sorry. She's goofy. She is goofy. Oh, goodness. I'm going to show y'all her in my living room what she does like every 15 minutes. I pick it up, she destroys it again. And my rug is gray. It's not dingy, it's gray. <laughs> I realized that in the video. Sorry, y'all. See my little Abby in the background a minute ago. She's like, I'm more out. This thing is wearing me out. Look at it. She's just so rotten. Look at it. She finally wins. She killed this it. An everyday occurrence. She's always jerking stuff out. What are you doing? What are you doing? How'd you get my water bottle? How'd you get my water bottle, pretty girl? You pretty girl. Easy pretty baby. Ah, you good girl. I know. <laughs> There's a food ball. My shoe. Balls. Just, uh, toys galore. Mess, mess, mess. You messy girl. There's my scarf. <laughs> I got from Dollar Tree. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What you doing, pretty? Is he pretty? Is he pretty, baby? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you ain't got no sense. You don't got no sense. You silly do. You silly do. 